Hello everyone, this is DECA IONWORK Simulation's first introduction video. In this video, I will teach you how to use LS6 and C701T guidance weapon to attack ground targets. Before the introduction starts, it is necessary to brief you guys about our current situation in flight. As some of you may already know, our head 3D modeler was hospitalized for almost two months. This set the progress of our model and texture behind of avionics and aerodynamics, which delayed our plan of early access JF-17 in September. The good news is he recovered by late August and started working the first night he came home. This is the reason we rarely posted Thunder's interior and exterior screenshots. In fact, the model and textures in this video are still work in progress. We plan to finish all work related to 3D modeling in one month to match the progress of avionics and aerodynamics, which are almost done for early access. For Thunder's combat capability, we've almost finished all of our planned weapons and sensors. We'll be making introduction videos about these weapons and sensors before early access in the next several weeks. No worries, we've already finished pilot model, just haven't put it into the plane. Also, don't worry about the plane's guarantee, we have a new photo for right now. Now let's start our introduction. First, we switch master mode to air to ground. Storm management system shows the plane carrying C-701 missile, LS-6 bomb, and WMD-7 targeting pod. LS-6 is a type of flight bomb that's very similar to JSON. Blinking STB shows that we've selected the bomb and the bomb is starting up. When the bomb is ready, it will change the arm. Now let's talk about LS-6 control menu. Upper part shows the target's latitude and longitude. Lower part shows LS6 INS alignment time. Bomb will have a larger error launching without complete alignment. JF17 can launch LS6 using target of opportunity mode or pre plan mode. JS17 stores PP1 point at waypoint 34. Now let's talk about HSD. At air to ground mode, HSD mainly shows course and target locations. The light blue diamond shows target location. The circle around the diamond shows weapons minimum range. A small white bar on the white dash line shows its maximum range. When the plane is within maximum range, the dash line will become solid. Yep, this is the air to ground radar. We finished most of our air to ground radar. We can enter radar mode selection menu by clicking MFD U1 button. Ground moving target indicator? We have that too. Let's increase our speed. Diamond on the HUD is the target's destination box. When the TV box is out of HUD's field of view, there will be an arrow showing the target direction. The lower left part is the weapon status and the master mode. The lower right part is the target and navigation info. LS6 needs about 3 minutes for alignment. All LS6 will start aligning when you select the first one. Let's speed up our game. JF-17's RWR info is also shown on the HSD. You can turn off the HSD's map to declutter the page. Now that the alignment is almost done, we're about to get in. You can choose the bomb's inbound azimuth and impact angle on the lower part of the control menu. After inputting azimuth, HSD will show the fan shape PLZ. Also, the dash outline will become solid and in range. Now the alignment is done, we're in DLZ. Launch and active prompt. Now let's talk about WMD-7 air to ground targeting pod. Main menu, pod. Select WMD-7, turn on the pod. You can use the pod in snow plow mode where it can slave to speed. For example, you can use air to ground radar to acquire target. 
and use WMD7 to confirm and log login. Now let's point WMD7 to a screen and use TO mode to launch LS6. WMD's maximum tracking range for point target is about 20 nautical miles. Target box will appear after successful launch. Now on HSD, we can see the target's location. Now let's check out LS6. The bomb will turn to preset inbound asthma. And inbound. Now let's launch the second LS6. In range, launch. We also have two C701T missiles from Yanchang. Let's talk about them. C701T needs about two minutes of boot up time. We'll need to wake them up to start off the weapon. Let's check our LS6 on WMD7. Gotcha. Looks like C701T is warming up. Here are some more targets. Let's fix them. Walk. Since C701T is a TV guidance missile, we need to use pod page to get its TV image. C701T can use slave mode to attack. Its max range is about 10 nautical miles. Slave it to WMD7 speed. Change to narrow view, lock target. We can manually choose the target size for C701T for it to lock larger targets like buildings or bridges. After moving the lock box on the target, we can manually or auto lock the target. Red diamond will appear after successful lock. Launch. C701T can also surge and attack using snowplow mode without other sensors. We can lock targets within 10 nautical miles.
Let's move WMD7 folder to your card bin. Watch. Gotcha. This concludes our video. Hope you all like it. Next week, we'll be introducing CAO2 and CAO2 AKG. Bye.